Good morning YouTubers, it's Smoking Kippers and I am out probably for the last time for a few weeks because I am off to see some family in Brazil. So that's going to take me out of the game for about three weeks. But I can't complain, I uh, had absolutely brilliant last couple of weeks. And I've just come to the same place again where I sat and found the uh, Saxon Koi and it's beautiful morning, it's about 8 o'clock. It's cold but it's sunny, just how I like it. And I've just walked in from this fence line here, walked straight across the field, I dug one shotgun cap halfway along and just got to here, dug this hole and I'm really not sure what I've got here but that is what is in the clod so let's have a look at this together let's try and get it in the sun it's definitely silver I hope it's... is it a button? Oh, I think we have a button situation which is a shame because I really thought that that was something nice, but yep, there we go. It looks like a silver button actually. Maybe it's just pewter. Anyway, on to the next. See you soon. All right, well, I'm not sure. Oh, my eyes are watering. Sorry. I'm not sure what we got here. There's a very high 88 signal on the dais. That looks like a little milled. Silver! What are you, Squire? Yeah. What it is... Let's get this glove off. One second. Well, very pleased with that. It's a bullhead, George III, 1817. Solid silver sixpence. I believe it's a sixpence. Might be a threepence actually. I'm um, not up on my milled, but really pleased with that. I've had a couple of grots and Roman Cistercius and a couple of rose farthings, a few other bits and pieces, plenty of shotgun cartridges. Only been going about an hour, so I'm gonna have some breakfast and come back to you in a bit. See you soon. Bye. Just from down there, I don't normally actually pull these because I tend to be a bit grotty, but this is really nice to trade this take. And um, I can definitely see quite a bit of detail on there. I think it says something of Fless Dean Essex maybe in Essex. Fels oh no, I think it says of TB of Felstead in Essex and Essex spelt with one S TB in the center and on the back uh, I'm not sure what it says Thor is something I'll get it cleaned up a bit better that's in really good condition for, for a little copper token so yeah is it? Well, I've been <coughs> excuse me, going up and down this footpath here and to say it is trashy is an understatement. It's absolutely chocker full of foil, pie tins, cans, shotgun cartridges and hammer coins. Woohoo! It's a bit knackered. Got a bit of a split in it, but it's a hammy. Another one for the collection, looks like an Elizabeth penny to me. In fact, I think I can see Cena. So, yes, another little Lizzie penny, or maybe even a uh, half grope. Not sure, need to clean it up. So, yeah, lovely. Another hammer for the collection. I'm gonna crack on. See you in a bit, bye. Hello everyone, it's Baker Kippers, I'm on another hunt and uh, Tony's coming out, I've literally just got back from holiday and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to fall asleep at home from my ridiculously long flight, I'm going to come out and do a bit of detecting and I came out with Tony and I said, I'm going to come to that field where I found the annular brooch and 
Saxon coin and Saxon strap and a few other bits. And he has just popped a Celtic silver. And what's really weird is that there's not many of these around. And I found one of them uh, in a field miles away from, well, good five miles away from here. And I did a load of research and that is actually picture of the coin that I had on my phone this is from 20 to 43 AD it's a Knoblin silver unit weighs 1.2 grams victory seated right with a pellet motif and CAMVL on that side so I got some pictures that's really really nice I'm actually quite jealous even though I've found the other bits that would have been a lovely collection adder but anyway on to the next hopefully I'll find one bye Good morning YouTube, it's Smoking Kippers and there goes Tony aka Saxman off into the distance, what a guy. Uh, we're actually on another permission of his, uh, he had an absolutely brilliant time last time on my permission with a really nice Celtic silver unit and a couple of hammers he had and some milled silver. So yeah he was doing really well um, but the week's just got too long there so we're now on this field which Tony says <coughs> he's only ever really gone around the outside of it, so we're giving it a bit of a bash. He's found a coin already, which was a Vicky Penny, I believe, or George Penny. And from down there, absolutely cracking signal. I guess about three inches down, not too deep. That's a fragment of a Roman silver denarius. So I'm really pleased with that. It's really clear, it's actually a shame that it's not whole because that's going to clean up absolutely beautifully and as they say on to the next one see you soon bye so just from down there absolutely cracking signal and i'm really not sure what it is let me try and get this off of here now i'm not sure i believe it is a clothes fastener probably for cloak maybe if it hooks both ends in somewhere i'm not sure what it's made of i think it might be really bad Silver, but I'm not sure if it's just pewter. It's weird. It's got some age to it. Anyway, I'll get some photos of that and maybe get an ID from one of you kind chaps. See you soon. Bye. I'm doing the walk of shame over to Tony. I hope you can hear me all right. It's quite windy. We've moved to a different field. This is quite near to the one where I found the Bronze Age gold lock ring. And Tony said, I've just found an artifact, come over, it's worth having a look at. So let's do that. Yes, yeah, in two bits, I found two pieces together, go together. On the other side, is it? Mm. It's like a locket. Done, score. Different. Nice. Very nice. Look at the photo of that. Well done. Put the tips together. And they are. Uh, yeah, they must have been some sort of locker. Container. Well done. Next. Well, uh, Tony's off down there. We've had a few Roman grots and a few other little bits of broken uh, brooch and. I think a horse pendant that Tony found. But anyway, I'm back up here and scooting around. Really very faint but clear signal, diggable. There's so much iron in here. This has been inhabited for many, many years. It's a very, what we call, busy site. Right, it's thrown up another silver. Hey, yeah, George V, sixpence. Pleased with that, not really good on the other side, quite a bit of leaching, it's not a solid silver. So it's post 1926, I think was the cut off point. It's 5057, it's been leaching away nearly 180 years, I guess. So, on to the next, see you in a bit, bye. I just picked up a nice old key. It's got some age to it, lovely little teen on it. 
down their clonking signal. Sweet. On to the next. Bye. Right, we've got 81, 84, thereabouts, knocking the door off on this Roman field, as you like to call it. Belt of a signal. Let's take that lump out. It'll be in there, no doubt. Still in there. Yeah, it's looking like a ring. A ring. Very nice. Yeah, that's got some age to it. Ah, yeah, it's gilt as well. Some gilt on that. too much to give it a clean later but that's uh, definitely fingering you like a good fingering well, i do like a fingering <laughs> <laughs> very nice got to be roman got to be well done squire nice that'll clean up nicely mm. yeah old hello One. Yeah, pin. Mm. Very nice. There's a better one, isn't it? one. That's the poo one. That's the poo one. So, next one. Yeah. Oh. Nice and decorated. Well done. Squire. I am artifact man today. You certainly are. Right, let's find some nice coinage. Uh, there must be someone who's got a little bit more money than bronze around here. I'm not being funny, but all they've got is bronze artifacts, bronze jewellery. <laughs> it's, it's just not good enough. No, the Romans want to light it up a bit and give us a bit of silver and gold. Come on. Do you want to see me, do you want to see me while you got it on film? Uh, I've no idea what that is. I mean, that's just a big lump of bronze. I don't see anything, to be honest. But anyway, yeah. on to the next. Bye! Started yet? Yeah. There you go. Nice bit of Roman pottery. Um, very good signal that. I would say. What would you say, Uncle Tony? I'd say that was a grot from the 46, 48, unless it's another gold lock ring. And it's a grot. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, is it? Yeah, a badern. Uh, well, Tony's had to go home. I thought I'd crack on it. It's just absolutely beautiful. I stepped off a plane uh, not long ago. Uh, and now I'm in a field texting the most beautiful weather. It's just, oh, I just feel so at home. And I found a nice little hammered. And I think it is a Mary. I'm pretty sure I can see Maria, but I'm. I'm not 100% so I'll check that out when I get back. Little flippy flip, you can see shield on that side. On to the next part. Oh my god. I think I've just found my second gold in a week. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, I don't believe it, holy shit, it's a gold annual approach, oh my god, I can't believe it, wow, oh shit, from there, oh my god, the scratchiest signal, with a load of iron. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, frick. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my. 
Okay, I'm gonna get this cleaned up and then I'm gonna come back to you.